I sincerely hope there is adequate security for this facility. Oh, this goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? You project personnel? Supplies are for project personnel only. Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to him. Now, what was it you needed? No more reliable hardware in the galaxy. I hope that we have not ultimately made a mistake in resurrecting this place.
taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Insertion complete. You may now move freely about the cabin. Well, you didn't put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. This world is off limits. You are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. Let me check my logs. <laughs> All right, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I'm- No need for introductions, Major Sinan. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you, as does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sinan's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, We'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceli's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. 
Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. Literally. to the city much. Never for long. Too risky. your gear you are you ready to do this then let's get this show on the road Kaiser Percival everything green on your ends I am ready personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now you copy that Roger loud and clear perhaps too loud oh you're a riot robot Kaiser kick it off
missing plan. Cash with some goodies is towards the rear of the facility. Kaiser, we hold the number you to dial in the location of those samples from here? Yes, they're faint. But I'm detecting multiple valid signatures. I have restored power to the containers. Jackpot! Get down there and collect as many as you can. Stay sharp. Surprise, let's see how quickly it can die.
samples collected. All right. Now hand those over to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. No. Earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That... That's right! Kaiser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. And we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. What is it? I am happy to help shoulder the load. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. A real marvel. these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? What's that? My god, look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only... What's... What's happening? Captain, are you seeing this? Oh my god. The heat leeches are terramorphs. But heat leeches infest every settlement, every corner of the settled systems means that every single one oh no you just saw that right you would tell me if i was losing my mind that heat leech became a terramorph the pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs heat leeches hide out in ships sneak away after landing and then with time they transform we we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. Pretty Major is right. But if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or 
even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! We may proceed. Go! just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. I wonder where they could have gotten such an idea. Deploying alien life forms as weapons. I wouldn't be shocked to find out our team, in part, inspired the approach, but our group never dealt with something that could have an effect like this. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test, someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. sufficient power to the lock mechanism. Anyone got ideas where we could get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed. There's the control panel. Still looks operable. Of all the things to survive. Error reactivated. Error control. System reboot required. And we do that. Ah, Captain.
I think I see it. before we are discovered. about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all this a secret in me. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people, condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. He was a... was... Exactly what we all thought he was. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all, taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. Now's not the time to joke like that, all right? No, that's, that's insane. He died, they executed him, they, they faked his death 
my entire unit. They threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Well, they certainly picked an expert, didn't they? Hey, Victus. Alive after all this time. His use to anyone is irrelevant. He should have been executed for his crimes, as they claim to have done in the first place. I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Vey Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. But wait, if my father's alive and knew about the Lazarus plant, what do you think the chances are he was involved in the attacks? And even if he wasn't directly involved, I guarantee he knows something. Vey Victus is a monster of a human being. If he lives, of course he could be responsible for what happened in both New Atlantis and Londinian. But I guess we're not getting any more answers right now. Come on, let's go get that last sample. Are you doing this? That's not me! 
You have to help me. This is useless. You've already lost. Unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plan? That's what it sounded like. Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. Captain, he needs to know. Vey Victus is alive which means he could have been involved in the attacks. Alive? He's... Fey Victus? That can't be true, right? Unfortunately for us all, yes, it's true. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Vey Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Whatever you can turn up is more than we have now. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Best of luck on your fact-finding mission.
and we shall be on our way. Ready for takeoff in three, two, one. Restricted space, please respond. Don't.
But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. You're being honored only because I arranged the situations where it could happen. Be grateful. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. That is a pity, Captain. But I am in no position to negotiate. Though we needn't be enemies, you and I. Just think about the opportunity I've provided here. There are more on the horizon. If you do the right thing. Yes. Has to stay here. You lead. I will follow. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good.
Good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it? Killed all those people because of a chip on his shoulder and an obsession with his own status. That sounds like Vevictus. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. I'm sure he did, but he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in, see if they have a preference. And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My God. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Heavens help us. It, it, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. 
He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Ve Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian, all materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. Let us hope this science division truly knows what they are doing. Grand threats merit grand actions. And grand actions are precisely what our group does. Order, please. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the Captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward. 
plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Okay, hello.